Welcome to Hair Raising Questions. Uh, today we're going to be covering the difference between conductive, dissipative, insulative and antistatic. These are common terms in the world of ESD control and it's really helpful to understand what they mean and when they're used. In controlling electrostatic discharge, one of our primary methods is providing electrostatic charges with a path to ground. Uh, these paths obviously need to be able to carry that charge. They need to be able to conduct electricity. To conduct electricity, a material must allow for the flow of electrons through its mass, uh, but different materials will allow different rates of electron flow. Uh, this is called a material's conductivity. Conductive materials allow for fast movement of electrons, and that means that the rate of discharge is rapid. This is ideal for any element in your ESD control program that will not come into direct contact with an ESD sensitive device. It's generally accepted that any material with a resistance below 10 to the 4 ohms is considered conductive. Dissipative materials will still allow for the movement of electrons and so will still remove a static charge. However, this will be in a slower, more controlled manner. This avoids rapid discharge from, let's say, a charged PCB onto a work surface and so reduces the chance of that discharge causing damage to the PCB. Materials measuring above 10 to the 4 and below 10 to the 11 ohms are normally considered dissipative. Insulative materials do not allow for the movement of electrons. These are to be avoided in your ESD protected area since they do not provide a pathway for the removal of electrostatic charges. Uh, in most cases, they are also sources of electrostatic charge, but even more reason to keep them out of your EPA. Any material measuring above 10 to the 11 ohms would be considered an insulator. The term antistatic is a little bit different from the terms we've been looking at so far. Uh, it doesn't have anything to do with the rate of movement of electrons. Uh, and actually, it's not a term that's defined in the European standard at all. Uh, but it is typically understood to mean low charging. All materials will charge to some degree or another, whether they're conductive, dissipative or insulative. But low charging materials, according to IEC TR61340-52, are said to be those that resist triboelectric charge generation caused by the material contacting and separating from itself or other materials. So while materials of this nature will not necessarily assist in providing a pathway to ground for an electrostatic charge, they will also not be causing a problem of introducing a static charge into your EPA. So these types of materials are fine to have in the electrostatic protected area. For the next video in our hair raising question series, click just up here. And for our ESD basics bite size playlist, click just down here. Please give this video a like, and to make sure that you catch all our latest videos, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell.